Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'm going to show you how you can code in your injectors. This is the King Bowling K7. Now, um, if you're using Autel, Snap-on, Launch, whatever, I'm sure it'll be similar software. We're gonna first have the ignition on, obviously. Auto search, pair up with the vehicle. Now, I'll show you this. I always recommend taking pictures because nothing's like popping it on and then having to look close, zoom it in. I mean, your eyesight can't see it. Um, there's gonna be a, quite a bit of a trouble if you ask me. So always take pictures like this. This is the previous lot that was on the car. Now, uh, this is the first one, which was this one here. And then if we, um, if we move off it, these are the new ones put in the same order. Anyways, let's pair it up and I shall show you step at a time. Okay, we'll put basic, okay. Um, Let's do system, uh, let's, let's do health report. Yes, okay. Let it do a full scan anyway, and then I'll uh, move on to the special functions. Uh, but we'll do it one at a time. And obviously I have done this before on various different diagnostic machines. If you do put it in wrong, it will kick you back out or it will just be invalid, it won't work. When I say it won't work, it's not gonna, um, it's not gonna, change the codes the other thing I will say is when you've changed injectors this is Sprinter 2.1 diesel um, just on any any vehicle any diesel vehicles they will have trouble starting some of them will not start no matter how hard you try some will like I'm sure this will probably start I'm not trying to start it but I'm sure it will and um, but you are gonna get limp mode if it's not properly paired up right uh, you know it's not, it's not gonna function correctly in other words so we do highly recommend um, making sure they are paired up because it's, it's going to be a way of telling the car you have a new injector this is how you should run this is the sort of values but anyway I'm just going to pause this now here so we'll go into the engine section I mean what I like about this K7 it's like you could just do that it just brings you the whole fault codes that's stored within the car <coughs> So once you're on the engine section, I'm just going to read codes anyway, I should have done that earlier, but um, look, these are some of the things stored, which I am not interested. We will clear the fault codes just to make life easy for everyone. I have to have the ignition off, but I'm not going to, I'm going to be naughty and just leave it on. I mean, do please listen to it. I'm just being naughty, in other words, ignition back on, because it's, it's a way of like resetting it fully. So these are the things we have. So we will put initial after replacement of components. So it gives us the, basically what you have replaced. Now it will be injection. Okay. I'm sure it is that. It does, it does reword it differently. So these are, as I said, these are the previous codes, cylinder one. Now, cylinder one, it ends in 4987. 4987 so sorry these are the new ones so i should have said um one ttx oh it's not even there uh, they've not even coded it in um so yeah i've realized there has been an engine swap in the meantime so let's not mess around with it so we'll hit cylinder one uh so cylinder one adaption oh, sorry i should have said change adaption value for cylinder one so manual entry so f3 pressing the start one where it's the new adaption so we will uh write it in in other words oh no i didn't mean to hit translation i meant to put f4 put it in so the new ones are this here i mean what a way of taking a picture hey Let's see where the lock is. Lock, right, flip it round. Hopefully that should be good. So this is the digits we need. And they have to be exactly like that. So if it is um, capital, capital. If it's not, JP12, C, X, R, J, Alpha, Alpha, 5, 7, H M R W E 
zero. Now, okay, let me just show you. If it's a line there, that's a zero. If it's not, then that's an O. But in this case, it is. Um, that's all you put, okay? So it's just that top bit, not the bottom section there. And where it says, I'll forget that. So, if I just, that's it. So hit OK. So if I've put anything wrong, it will kind of uh, press in the start. F3 button writes the new adaption. So we will hit F3. This is going to override. So it's done it, apparently. Okay, so let's go back on it. So ends in 0 RY. If you've done it incorrect, it, sometimes it may not work on the first go. So it's always best try it again. Um, it's technology for you. But um, if it is... If, if I put any of them wrong in there, it will not do it. It'll bounce back out. So we have done it another one. So let's have a look. And obviously, if it's not in the correct order, it won't do it. So I'll make sure you're doing it in the right order. It doesn't matter in terms of if you're going to do three, three is fine. But if you're going to do a number four on number one, it's not going to work, obviously, because it's going to detect it. So everything's good. But what I would recommend, just done the first one, once you've done every single one one by one obviously turn do a full scan come out of everything um you don't need to do anything else there's nothing else on here come back out completely and then do another full diagnostic scan and clear so i'll come out i've gone into it manually as well health report let it do a full scan um it may not start straight away I said before it may not start straight away it'll take a few cranks um because you've had the uh you've had the um injectors off there'll be air leaks and whatnot so we will give it a shot everything's done that's the way you would do it there's nothing else there's nothing special about it anyway um so coming on to this this is the other van so neutral neutral here we go i'll just turn it off well that's doing the scan i'm not bothered yet but come back on Ignition on. It'll take a while, but it should hopefully start. It will take this long sometimes, sometimes less. You can do manual bleed as well. There you go, it's on. Here we go. Uh, it'll take a while. It is cold start. You've just had it. I would do a good run on uh, probably, I'd say, on motorway or something. Uh, don't worry about that because that was coming up before with the coil light. Is the ignition and um, so uh, yeah the glow plug sorry should we say but everything is good um and if we do start it again it'll take a while i do recommend taking it for a good drive sometimes so there we go boom but really do another full scan um this is normal i have seen a lot of them when we've changed injectors, it happens, goes up, down, you'll have that. It's good to do a good drive and then turn the car on and off and yeah, should hopefully resolve things. It'll probably come up with something. I'll do I'll let it do the full scan, but that's how you would do it if you were using the diagnostic machine. There's nothing special about it. It's just input the codes one by one. If it doesn't like it, you won't do it. Um I forgot to mention as well, it I must have done something wrong or the machine must have not liked it. I had to redo it again, and um, yeah, all good after that. But that's what it is. I won't worry about it. Any car doesn't matter. It will take a bit of while till it cranks over. Um, some cars will be an instant boom turned on, no issues. But in this case, I get it. 